righteous is going to wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. So, so what's that talking about? Because when the Lord, according to the Bible, when the Lord gives us that power, we're going to be killing people, man. Like it says, read that again, man. All, all, the, all these fucking faggots out here, all these Edomites, all these goddamn child molesters and devil worshippers and Freemasons, all you cap and saber hoes, all you adulterers and adulteresses, all them so-called Jews, all these rat bastards. This is what's going to happen to you. Read that. Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So we're going to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Okay, that's in the Bible. We're going to dance in the blood of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the Lord said, when he come back, he's going to tread the wine press. The Lord going to tread the wine press. He going to be stomping fools' heads like grapes. He going to make your head explode like a grape. Like it ain't shit. Just, just one squish. Go ahead. You gotta go downtown and get off his job, think everything easy. I'm gonna break that motherfucker's door. That's fucked up. Yeah. I was looking down for so long, I looked up and this monster was right here. Where'd he come from? Why the bus driver just did him dirty? Oh, straight up. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's for this thing. Oh, maybe. You know, over here it is. That's why. Hey, everybody's getting marked. Yeah, they show sure Everybody is. gets marked. Uh, read, uh, read that again, because that was the end of that one. Yeah. yeah, read that one more time. Read that loud, too. Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Yeah, that's coming soon, man. Like I said, when the Lord, when the Lord gives us the power, we're going to be fucking people up, man. We're gonna be getting up close and personal too. We're gonna be gouging, like just gouging motherfuckers' eyes out, choking motherfuckers till their head explodes. You ever, you ever seen that? Uh, you ever seen Fist of the North Star? That cartoon, that anime? When that dude is fighting, fighting each other, he can poke poking his ass and turn his feet, and his shit, his like chest would explode. and his nerves would start popping, and blood. That's how we gonna be doing people. Man. Here you go. We're going to be getting on people, man. This is Micah uh, 5 and 15. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. So such like you ain't never going to hurt no it's like you, I ain't you, never you, seen nobody get their ass whooped like Right. You, you explaining somebody with uh, uh, with spiritual power. Spiritual power. So, you know, they, I mean, you, they hear it and they ain't going to believe it. <laughs> they ain't going to believe that. Just like Jake don't hear, hear it and Jake don't believe it. Like you said, Put your hand, rip somebody's heart out and shit, yep. you know? Versus just like on Mortal Kombat, when uh, when uh, Sub-Zero ripped dude's spine out his goddamn head, just... <laughs> oh, Kano ripped the heart out. Yeah, Come just here. like all, yeah, all the fatalities. Yeah, Kano ripped your heart out. Come here! You know what I'm saying? We're we, we gonna be able to do shit like that. Yep, There's yep. people right now that already can do shit like that. Pe people can actually rip your heart out. There's people that can do that. They got, you know what I'm saying? They know how to do that. You got yeah, you, yeah. You got you got skilled killers out here, man. Yeah. Motherfuckers that know how to yeah, like kill you with a pressure point. You know, there's some crazy motherfuckers out here to just just study ways to kill you, man. So what do you do? You got you got some real because the, the human body, the person could, is a can be a killing machine, man. You know what I'm saying? You can tune the human body just to kill. If you know what you're doing, it's a killing machine. It ain't nothing else like it. Here you go, bro. Habakkuk 1 and um, 5. Behold ye among the heathen in regard and wonder marvelously. That the uh, heathens go, they're going to wonder marvelously when it's destruction comes. Especially when their own destruction comes. They, then they surely going to marvel. Yeah, because when they see a bunch, a bunch of niggas with spiritual power, they're going to shit themselves. Yeah, that's going to shit their drawers. Yeah. You know what I mean? In regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told you. That, yeah, that's still talking about the Lord. That's the Lord talking. And yeah, he worked that work. Yeah, and he's he, telling he, you, we, 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 we're, we're professing his mysteries. But y'all, you know, you're rejecting. Oh, that's just a story. That's just a book. Y'all believe anything a book can tell you. Yep, you sure do. This book. You know, they think, These books. <laughs> you so, know? so these fools don't believe. That's right, don't believe. You're gonna see tanks running down the street. You're gonna see 
uh, military aircraft jets zooming through the fucking air. You're gonna see trucks with laser beams on top of them. Oh, you crazy, that never happened. And behind that, you're gonna see men with spiritual power destroying that shit. <laughs> Cause the Lord did say, when he, this shit happens, he gonna lift up a standard against us. Yup. You know? Let me find that, man. That's the scripture right there, man. Let me hit this shit. Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go. Isaiah 42 and 12. Isaiah, Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. Like a man of war, just like Exodus say, the Lord's a man of war. And what, what, that's what we've been talking, that's a good scripture. That's what we've been talking about. Yeah, there's nothing but death and destruction coming, man. And the Lord also said that Israel, the, we're the Lord's battle axe and weapon of war, you know what I'm saying? So the, when, when the Lord gives us that power, man, we're gonna be just, we're gonna be just slaughtering fools, man. We're gonna, we're gonna be killing heathens, we're gonna be killing Edomites, we're gonna be killing two thirds. This is gonna be a great slaughter, man. It's like, like the, the world has never seen before. It's gonna be beautiful. Uh, read that again. Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Right. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. So the Lord, like the scripture said, the Lord is slow to anger. So he gave y'all plenty of time, you know what I'm saying? He gave, gave y'all plenty of time. We've been out here for five years, that ain't shit. You know what I mean? He you know, gave y'all time, man. Go ahead. I will make waste mountains and hills and drive all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands and I will drive the pools. And I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. Yeah, that's what, that's what you make crooked things straight by coming out here teaching the truth. We, we correcting on that bullshit you've been taught your whole damn life. Cause y'all walk around crooked, you know what I mean? You come up here, you celebrate Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You, you're a great American. You're a fucking patriot. Motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a nigga that's been oppressed to bring a fucking. Yeah, you an atheist or an agnostic or. Uh, or you, you, in a, you a Buddhist, you a Muslim. And you come up here just confused as hell. You don't know shit. You don't know what the fuck's going on. You, you know what I'm saying? That's what we hear. The, uh, the Lord put the spirit on us to make your ass straight. That's the simple ass niggas that's part of that black unconsciousness. That's the, that's the worst thing to be part of. Well, these dumb, simple ass niggas that's, that's racing every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No law, wherever no law, and, uh, you know. Yeah, going, you waste your time in them churches. Yeah, you, if you up in a church, you are, man, you just, something's wrong with you. You ain't never gonna catch me up in a church. Hey, Pastor No Law gives them that truth they need. He gives them that lie that they need. You know? That's his whole job, that's his sole job, is to give him that lie. Hey, his sole job is to get your money. Yeah. Money, yeah. That's all he gives care yeah, about. And destroy your ass. Sweet nothing. Man, if you ain't if you ain't paying no tithes to that church, that preacher be looking at you real funny. You know what I'm saying? When you gonna stop coming? Yeah, hey, motherfucker, you ain't gave me nothing. Here you go, Dad. Here <laughs> right. you go. This is Isaiah 59, and I'm gonna start at 18. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. We fury to his adversaries, oh, yeah. recompense to his enemies. Recompense to the enemies. To the islands, he will repay, re repay, recompense. These goddamn devils, they got a lot to pay for, man. That's right. All this faggot shit out here. Like, like, like in America, okay, and it's okay for faggots to get married now. You can be a faggot. You can, oh, you can be on TV and talk about faggots. You can, you can be on TV and take a shit on the Bible, rip the Bible up in pieces. You know what I'm saying? You could talk shit about the one they call Jesus and uh, turn him into a zombie. You know, they do all kind of crazy yeah, shit to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They all always mocking him. But say, if you say something about a faggot, you get in trouble. 
You know what I'm saying? If you speak out against faggots, all of a sudden you, you, you're, you're just hate speech. I saw the other day on there somebody, they was, they're teaching that um, the Lord was into bestiality too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But if you say one thing about, that's why the Lord's going to start putting all these faggots to death, man. Yeah. Yep. Soon the Lord, because the, the faggots time is up. The new faggots only got a short time left, man. Yep. So you go live it up, you know, drink all the sperm you can right now, because the most high is, is going to start, he's going to put the spirit on people just to start killing faggots. Yep. You, know, that's, you know, I can just see it through the spirit. You know, I'm just, that's my prediction. Yeah, faggots don't like faggots. They going to they gonna start getting put, yeah, because a lot of faggots, they, they ashamed of what they're doing. You know what I mean? Because a lot of them know uh, what they're doing is wrong. And so they, they love their height. Right. But then you got these proud faggots. You know what I'm saying? And they just walking down the street wearing some Daisy Dukes, French kissing their boyfriend. Even the older generation of faggots are, they hate the new generation of faggots. Yep, right? yep. What kind of shit is that, man? So, you know America's going to be destroyed? You know that? 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai shall be lifted up a standard against him. Oh, yeah, now what's that standard going to be? That standard going to be uh, uh, the elect, the yep. 144,000 with spiritual power. A bunch of, a bunch of handcocks. <laughs> you talking about the movie 300 coming to life? <laughs> Shit, the movie 300. Yeah, because whenever the when the Lord, because when the Lord gives us power, it ain't gonna take many of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. When you read all through the Bible, because the scriptures say it ain't got. It doesn't matter how many people you got. Let me get that uh, Judas real quick. What is that? Uh, it says one will chase after a hundred. That's a good line. Man. I know this one real quick. What you got? Ezekiel, Ezekiel 22 and 3. Then say thou, thus said the Lord God, the city shed a flood in the midst of it, that her time may come and make of idols against herself to devour herself. What you mean, bro? Ezekiel 22 and 3. Then, then say thou, thus said the Lord God, the city sheddeth blood in the midst of it, that her time may come and maketh idols against herself to defile herself. Um, yeah, America's defiled. Yeah, America is all about idol worship. You know what I'm saying? It's all about it. All these people, the only thing they care about is idol worship. That's why you got American Idol. Because that's the new idols today is a superstar, a celebrity. Everybody's into celebrity worship. You know what I'm saying? They'll get it there. All these women have to have the exact same hairstyle as their favorite actress or their favorite musician. You know what I'm saying? Thou, thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and hast defiled thyself in thy idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused the uh, dead to fun. draw near. Actually, well, this goes back to these devil worshipers. Actually, because a lot of these people in America, and the Church of Satan was founded in America. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people in secret, they actually worship the devil. We got all these Freemasons, they all worship Satan. Plus you got all these people that go up to the, uh, to, to all these sororities and fraternities. And they up there doing all kinds of uh, devil worshiping ceremonies. They worship Apollo. And they go through all kinds of rites and rituals. I mean, y'all think there ain't no people don't know. No, there's devil worshippers out here, man. You think because they be behind closed doors and no windows, ain't nobody gonna see them. Like they can't see them. Yeah. No Lo and behold, there's angels right there looking at your ass in shame. That's why. That's why a lot of the. Uh, Excuse the me, can I ask you a question? What's up? Gonna gonna what makes you think it's all right to wear jeans like that? They're a little tight, ain't they? But like, that's why all these rich politicians they go out in California up in a Bohemian Grove every year. They got this giant idol that they sacrifice children to. Uh, everybody's seen it now. So uh, Alex Jones put that on the internet years ago. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's just people been known about that. His ass was invited. Yeah, he probably did invite him in there. Who knows? 
That motherfucker butchered the scriptures the other day when I texted you and I was crying oh, up. Yeah. Hey, man, man. He hate that rape shit too, boy. He a cap and saber hoe. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead with it. Those Adams still. Ezekiel 22 and 4. Thou have become guilty in that blood that thou hast shed. So yeah, so y'all guilty on the blood that you shed. Like America's guilty for the blood they shed. So they gonna have to pay that punishment. Keep going. And hast defiled thyself in thy idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused yeah, thy days yeah, to draw near. Hold on, yeah, because America shed more blood than any nation in the history of the planet Earth. Pretty much. Continuous. You know what I'm saying? It still is. It's still Continuously. Keep going. You know, they displaced 50 million children in Afghanistan and Iraq. And Syria. That's America's country. Yeah, yeah, America started all this war. They killed Gaddafi. They went over to Libya, killed Gaddafi. They over there killing Christians. You know what I'm saying? They stay, they supplying the, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood with arms and money while they kill Christians. Chopping their heads off. You know what I'm saying? Raping their women, burning their houses down. Yeah, that's America. And that's Obama. That's, yeah, that's America. The red, white, and blue. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The, the land of the free, no home of the, of the brave. Free. The land of the What's fuck up, you, young guy? Yeah, you fuck fucking you, bitch. Clown, you bitch ass nigga. Fucking faggot. Big old homo. Go ahead. And thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art and are come even unto thy years. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. So this time is short, man. I mean, you actually think the Lord is gonna let? America continue for this long? Right. Man, look, the most high is gonna destroy this shit, man. You actually think the Lord is gonna let faggots walk around forever? And let, you know what I'm saying? And let goddamn devil worshipers walk around? He gonna kill you motherfuckers, man. He gonna put you to death. He gonna put you to fucking death. That's all there is to it. He gonna destroy the whole country. From, from the east coast to the west coast. You know what I'm saying? From New York to California, it's just getting destroyed. Keep going. If I made the, if I made the approach unto the heathen and the mocking away. to all countries. So yes, yeah, so look, them niggas are coming back. Who? On the bikes. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight them. We're gonna be, that'd be a crazy fight, wouldn't it? <laughs> now they actually might try to fight us. Well, you, know, you never know, though. I'm saying, yeah, you're probably right, though. They always I'm always prepared. They always I'm ready to fight somebody. <laughs> I've been training. Yeah. Go ahead. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee. Yeah, so America is already the la laughing stock of the world right now. But soon they're really gonna laugh at your ass when you get destroyed. So, all these other, when America gets destroyed. All these other countries around the world, they're gonna celebrate, they're gonna rejoice. Because the rest of the world hates America. Don't nobody like you motherfuckers, man. And the, they're gonna party in Iran. The whole, all the heathens and all the, you know the Middle East is gonna celebrate. That Iran, they're gonna be happy as hell to see America. And everybody's gonna be happy to see this motherfucker go, man. They're gonna laugh at you, they're gonna mock you. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. This is the first time I've seen these people are terrible. It's it is terrible. terrible. Hey, stupid as hell. You know, you these can't. some terrible people be, to be around. Period. You know? It is. Bitch ass, ass hoe. Hypocrite. Yeah, ain't nothing worse than a hypocrite. Talking about some piece of love and shit. And they quick to call a motherfucking nigga while they at the dinner table with their family. Why they up in these fucking faggot ass bars and shit. Wicked ass son, but bitches fuck these people. You got more of that, bro? Yeah. Psalms 22 and 5. Those, uh, Ezekiel 22 and 5. <laughs> those, I'm the wrong thing to solve. Those that be near and those that be far from thee shall mock thee, which are infamous and much vexed. <laughs> I got some right here. Um, this is uh, Psalms, Psalms 106 and 35. That's a good one. Um, but uh, they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded. Hey, it's a good scripture. But yeah. were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. Yeah, we say they learned their works. Like uh, when you celebrate Christmas, 
that's following the ways of the heathen. You know what I'm saying? You celebrating, uh, like, like I, these fools, they ain't gonna celebrate no holiday until the white man, until the government comes through. If the government don't say to celebrate a holiday, you ain't gonna celebrate it. Like when none of these motherfuckers celebrate Martin Luther King Day until the government said celebrate Martin Luther King Day. Martin Lucifer King. Martin Lucifer King. Y'all will never celebrate that until the government told you to. You people don't do nothing unless the government ain't say to do it and the TV didn't say to do it, you ain't going to do it. Right. You ain't going to do shit till that TV told you to do it. You bunch of dumbass heathens, man. Right. That's why the Lord's going to kill y'all, man. The Lord's going to fucking kill you. Uh, go ahead. And recharging your ass right here, reading the scriptures. This is your formal charge. <laughs> we, but we're mingled among the heathen and learned their works and they served their idols which were a snare unto them. Right, the government tell you to celebrate Christmas. They got, they got Christmas vacation. The schools get out for Christmas vacation. So they forcing that on you, you know what I mean? And everybody goes along with it. N and nobody knows about it. They don't know that the Santa Claus is actually Baal. You know what I mean? They don't know that. that too. Oh, it does go into that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, go ahead. Yay! They sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. Right, because that's why Christmas is all about the children. Because back, because back in the ancient world, and actually still now, uh, they during the time of Saturnalia, Christmas, they sacrificed children to, to Baal. So that's why Christmas is all about the children. That represents you sacrificing your children, man. Right. And then you give giving your children over to the devil. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go ahead. And shed innocent blood. Oh, that's the same thing on Halloween. On Halloween, everybody dressed their children up as devils and witches. Old school faggots. Yeah, they a bunch of fucking weirdos. Those old school faggots. All these, all these holidays, they all about your children. Yes, yeah, so that, that goes back to the, uh, like in Easter. Old school faggots with their adulterous ass old wives. Y'all know about Easter, right? In Easter, they always had the little children going to Easter egg hunt. Well, they don't know. The, 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 you know how they colored the Easter eggs? They don't know that back in ancient Babylon, that they would color, they would dip their eggs in blood. And a baby, after they sacrifice a baby up on an altar, they take an egg and dip it in the baby's blood. But that, that's where they're coloring the Easter egg come from. These stupid motherfuckers got their children out hunting for some goddamn eggs. You know what I'm saying? You bunch of dumbass heathens. Oh, uh, go ahead. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters whom they sacrificed. All, all these hoes, they, they have goddamn 20 abortions by the time they 18. And you pretty much, every time you have an abortion, that's pretty much a sacrifice to behalf. You know what I'm saying? And they do day before uh, the stem cells. Because it, it is a sacrifice. Esau know what he's doing. He got a Planned Parenthood on every goddamn corner. Using uh, the child, the dead child, once it all broke the fuck up, something like that too. Mm -hmm. Using using the uh, stem cells. Yeah. Uh, they turn type of weird shit. So yeah, that yeah, pretty much is a sacrifice. Stem cell research. All that shit is linked, like genetic food, or genetic modified food. Well, because all the doctors, because all the doctors are actually witches. They're druids. They're uh, they're priests. A doctor is a priest. Okay. When you go when you go to the hospital, your doctor is actually a priest. He's actually a Freemason. Okay, he's a Freemason. He part of some kind of order. They show you that in that movie with Tom Cruise, Eyes Wide Shut. He showed you how the doctors is actually Freemasons. They're part. They're devil worshippers. He worship. Cause why? Cause, yeah, because the doctor's a shaman. You know what I'm saying? He, he's just the doctor ain't no different from the shamans in the ancient world up in. Well, he just wears a white coat now. But why do you think they, they got the, the, the serpent, the, you know, the health, what's the medical? What's that snake's name? It's uh, a, the, uh, uh, the Duthi? Yeah, that's it, uh, yeah, that's the, it. Uh, Sarducius. Yeah, so whatever. Sarducius. Yeah. yeah that's the that snake, snake that's crawling up at uh, Medical Association of America Center. Yeah. Oh, that's the name the of the staff snake. at the snake going up. Yep. That's their god, that's one of their, that's one of their gods. And they worship the serpent. Right. Because they say that the serpent gave them all the wisdom and the knowledge. Right, the serpent. You know, because when you go back to the garden of Eden, the serpent gave that fruit to Eve, and he said, look, this is, well, if you eat this fruit, then you're going to become wise, like God. You know what I mean? <laughs> but right, that's what I'm saying. That fruit represents that wisdom and that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why Apple, the Apple, the com computer company, 
That's why they symbols of fruit with that bite taken out of them. That represents that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you got? And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrifice unto the idols of Canaan. The idols of Canaan, right? Because right, because the idol of Canaan was who Baal. The Canaanites worship Baal. And if you look at pictures of Baal up on Wikipedia, I done made all kind of videos on this in the past. Baal wore the same hat that Santa Claus wore. He wore that little funny little hat with a ball on top of it. Baal wore the same hat. Just like Odin. Odin wore the same hat. You know what I'm saying? Same shit. Because Odin, oh, yeah right, Odin is the Norse version of Baal. Just like the, 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 the Egyptians called Baal Osiris. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they, right. The KKK wearing the same kind of hat. Well, it goes back to Baal. That's why. Cause Baal wore that hat. Is that how y'all do it in China? He's not from China. He said, "I'm not." All right, from China. dude, you fish head motherfucker. No, he probably was. He got mad. Most of the Chinese, they just scuttled away. He, he got pissed. Like I ain't from China, by the way. Motherfucker. <laughs> Um, and the land was polluted with blood, thus were they defiled with their own works and went a horn with their own invention. Yeah, these fools out here, they've been with a horn after they, they everybody say you got to follow your heart. Everybody's just do, this is, America is a do as thou wilt society. It's the Aleister Crowley land. We live in Aleister Crowley land. It's just do, <laughs> yeah. do you, you can do whatever you want. United say States what you can do anything but this as long These as you Chinese ain't teaching motherfuckers the bible, are coming back right as long as you as long as you ain't teaching the bible you're cool you teach the bible that's hate speech you know what i'm saying okay when they declare martial law they're gonna they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna be killing motherfuckers that's been that's believer christ you know the so-called christians and right and we're gonna be know, killing faggots yeah right you know what i'm saying it's gonna be a good killing it's a lot of killing right. going on <laughs> we gonna, There's gonna be murdering going on. There's gonna be righteous killing going on. Right, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> There's gonna be massive race wars. You know, there's gonna be a, a, an insurrection in the land. A great insurrection in the land. It ain't gonna just be here in America. It's gonna be all over the goddamn world. Yeah, it is. It's already it's started. A great insurrection. It's already started. Oh, shit. I'm you see what? Some more fire did you see what's happening over there in Ukraine? That's just that's just crazy over here right now. You know what? Fuck. I'm gonna go back to that song. You got you got riots popping up all around the goddamn world. Everybody's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Everybody's ready to kill these motherfuckers, man. They tie up Esau on his words. Here you go. This is Second Ezra nine. I'm gonna just start at one. Okay. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before." Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, because yeah, cause we've been told you all the signs. If you can't see the signs, you're retarded. She got tired of waiting here. Yeah, scripture. she can't. But she waiting for the bus. That fat ass. Miss it. That, that motherfucker just did a wall ride on the fucking store down there. Oh, uh, for real? He got skills like that? Hell yeah. Who, who, who did that? That dude over there on the skateboard. He just ollied up onto the fucking building and rode he, the wall. He gone? Tell his ass to come over here. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Right, there's people riding all over the world, like Ukraine. They're going crazy over there. Everybody's rising up, you know what I'm saying, protesting the governments. Because the same people control every last government on earth, pretty much, almost all the governments. No, and it's some so-called Jews control the whole world, man. Them goddamn devils. Right. Keep, keep going. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee. Right, because the script was already written long ago. Even from the beginning. Even from the beginning. So, yeah. That's a, that's a bad script. That's right. That's a, everything's predestined. That disproves the notion of free will. You're trying to say there's free will. How can it be free will if the Lord said it was written in the beginning? Right. You know, you don't even make no sense when you say that shit, man. There ain't no damn free will. It, 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 it don't make no sense. Here you go, second Ezra 14 and 21. For thy law is burnt, therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee, or the works that shall begin. 
but if I have found grace before thee, send the Holy Spirit into me, and I shall write all that have been done in the world since the beginning. That's bad, man. So we prop that's the mysteries he's he's given us to bring out, man. How you know Esau, you're talking to Esau, yeah, the earth. Uh, when the dinosaurs were walking the earth, uh, yeah, no yeah, yeah. 318 trillion years ago, right. when man was not worth yet on the earth, all he knows, like, is, all he knows is the yeah. official story. Right. You know what I mean? That ain't no works from the they, beginning. Yeah, people come out here talking about that. They got History Channel knowledge. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, uh, people don't know shit, man. <laughs> they don't even try to go deep, man. We on a what? Man, we on a, such a deep level compared to these people. Why, what are they talking about? You don't know how to deep the rabbit hole goes. These motherfuckers ain't even found a hole yet. Like your man. dude said, right. Kanye West was conscious. Oh, yeah. That dude, oh, my goodness. He gone. You say Kanye West is conscious. You yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, You don't need that. Man, man fuck. You get out of the midst of my presence. Get out of oh, my man. presence. <laughs> oh, Kanye, yeah. That dude, he's just a big faggot, man. Well, anybody that's going to have a baby with that hole. Man, that's probably ain't even his got dick. any other bitch other than a bitch that, that's all over the internet sucking multiple dicks. You know what I'm well, saying? Her, her sister like a hoe too. And the bitch has surgeries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. bitch has surgeries that actually look that good. That bitch was getting uh, blood, putting blood on her face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. got yeah. blood. What you call it? They call it uh, yeah, so facial. She, 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 she was getting blood facial. Who gets blood? That's some devil worship yeah, shit. Yeah, that's some Satan that, shit. That's always something. Yeah, you have to actually worship Satan. To see him be putting blood all over your face. Man, that's just evil. Yeah, and you, you ain't gonna tell me that ain't evil. That's wicked as fuck. Man, that's why the Lord's gonna kill you, motherfucker. And all these bit you know, people watch me. That's, that's good for your skin. Blood face. Like, man. that's good for your skin. And bitch. the Lord said, don't have no parts of the blood. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be playing you know, in blood. That's, just, in that shit. that's disturbing. Yeah, disturbing. These bitches, they do the same thing. They'll take nothing. They'll take sperm and rub nut, sperm nut, all over their face. Nut. Like on Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen a million porn uh -huh. I've uh -huh. seen that bitches take the sperm and they wipe all over their face. Uh -huh. They get, you know what I mean? They, they say it's good for their skin. Mm -hmm. Fucking nasty ass. Holes, they say the pole too. <laughs> I mean, I mean, damn, man. These faggots are doing it too. Yeah, the faggots do it too. These faggots are doing it. Oh, shit. They be putting it all over their arms and their face. What's up, nigga? Fucking nasty motherfuckers, man. These, man, these people need death. Man, I just pray the Lord kills all these goddamn heathens, man. Right. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people in so much that he abhorred uh, the That's his the spirit. The Lord, and that's talking about Israel, the two-thirds of the people on this time right here. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, read that again. This is what he said about his own people. That's what the Lord said about his own people. Read that again. Let me let this Let me let this Yeah, this motherfucker. This Babylonian noise. Make you go blind and deaf when it go by. Right. Now I'm seeing spots. Yeah. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people. Y'all have no idea about the wrath of the Lord that's coming, man. Y'all, y'all is not ready. You are not ready. Trust me. It's gonna be scary for you. In so much that he abhorred his own inheritance. Like he abhorred them motherfuckers right there. You know what I'm saying? The and Lord. he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Right, that's just like what happened in America, how Jake came over to America on slave ships. The white man fucked them up, you know what I'm saying, beat the shit out of them. He was raping the women, you know, killing little babies, stomping their heads. Just like they was killing little Indian babies, shooting for target practice, you know what I'm saying? Their enemies also oppressed them. And they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquities. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction yeah, so we and right, heard their cry. Right, because right, we're in a low state right now, you know what I'm saying? But that's why we out here crying, because we read that last part again. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry. Yeah, so we're afflicted, so and we're out here crying. So the most high hears us. Like, you think people, like, ain't nobody listening to us. Why are we go out and teach them? The Most High is listening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what you better worry Angels about. Angels is listening. Yeah, Angels is listening. Yeah. That's all we worry about. That's all we care about. <laughs> uh, besides, like that, what's that one scripture? 
just said, even if only if we only wake up one person, that's fine with by us. Right. Okay? Right. If, if we just teach a thousand people and only one person get it, that's good. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Angel yeah, if you can find it, get there. Ecclesiastic is 44, Ecclesiastic is 41 and 6. The inheritance of sinners, children shall perish, and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no prosperity in America, okay? Y'all, like all these faggot ass white people, they walk around, they got all this money, they living real good, they going to the best clubs. Wasting all their money, spending money on no care. They have plenty of money in the bank. Well, guess what? Y'all ain't even really got money. Y'all just got numbers on a computer screen. And soon, and soon that shit's about to be gone. Oh, yeah, you got paper money. Just like when you play Monopoly. Yeah, they don't get gold and silver. You get some fake-ass money. Just like in America, they give you fake-ass money. Pa if you didn't know, paper ain't worth shit. If you didn't know, okay? Just like in England, you hear about in England, they bought a, uh, the, or in Scotland, this is probably both of the United Kingdom somewhere, they about to come out with plastic money. You hear about that? No. So they, they got you fools in such a fucked up state, they giving you motherfuckers plastic, and you actually think you got money when all you got is a piece of goddamn plastic. They got paper now. You got goddamn paper. Paper ain't worth shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers are stupid, man. You deserve death. That's all I can say. You deserve to be put to death. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus 41 and 8. Woe be unto you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the Most High. God, for if, for if ye increase, it shall be to your destruction. And if ye be born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if ye die, a curse shall be your portion. All that. Oh, go ahead. I'll be right back. Go ahead, go ahead. I got, he got to go to the bathroom. I'm about to drop the sign. Go ahead. I got you. Ecclesiast Ecclesiasticus 41 and 10. All that or of the earth shall turn to earth again, so the ungodly shall go from a curse to destruction. So a curse to destruction. They didn't say they was going to be blessed. They didn't say that we, we was going to forgive them. You know, you're supposed to forgive people, but look, that some people, first someone got to repent to forgive them. If they don't repent, I mean, they're they going to die. They're going to be destroyed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't our fault. We try to tell you. Go ahead. The mourning of men is about their bodies, but an ill name of sinners shall be blotted out. Have regard to that name, for that shall continue with the above a thousand great treasures of gold. A good life have but few days, but a good name endureth forever. Yeah, a good name endureth forever. Yeah, because ain't nobody gonna remember none of these faggots. Like all these people, they come up here talking all that shit. Come out of the Bible ain't shit. That shit ain't true. Well, guess what? When you die, nobody's gonna remember you. So everybody remembers the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Everybody remembers King David. They remember Solomon. They, remember, they ain't gonna remember your ass, though. They gonna forget all about you. You ain't gonna be in the history books, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Blotted out. So, so how, how these people ain't shit. They ain't shit. They think they shit. They ain't. They ain't nothing. They a piece of. They are worthless. That's why they said a good name and dirt forever. That's why King King David. He was a righteous man. That's why his name. That's why we still talk about him. You know what I mean? That's a good point, Greg, man. Because these people really think they something. And they like to brag about how they're the baddest motherfucker. Or these bitches, you be on the internet, you be on, fucking with these hoes on these sites, and they be like, I'm the, there ain't no one else like me. Be like, bitch, yeah, right. I seen like 50 bitches <laughs> just like you right before I got to your page. Saying exactly the same shit. Saying exactly the same thing, ex like exactly the same <laughs> rappers, even had the same goddamn video playing on your page. <laughs> right, sir. Even the same profile skin. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Got right. the same pose in the picture. <laughs> ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of y'all shit, man. 
Uh, none of you. Here we go. Uh, well, well, it is a very few. I mean, I don't know. I've yet to find that righteous woman. So, if you know where a righteous woman is, holler at me, because I ain't seen her. Baruch 3 and 20. Young men have seen light and dwelt upon the earth, but the way of knowledge have they not known. Read <laughs> it. He said the way of knowledge they have not known. You know what it knowledge means? That means to know stuff. These people don't know shit. I mean, they don't know basic history. You know, they can't tell you. I mean, like, like they don't know. Like, first of all, they all love Martin Luther, Lucifer King. They cannot tell you what year he got shot. <laughs> they, they don't know when the 1960s was. They don't know the difference between the 60s and the 80s. You know what I'm saying? Only thing... That, don't even ask him about the Roman Empire and ask him who the first Caesar is. Even oh, though, yeah. even though the first Caesar's name was Caesar, they they don't know that shit. That's oh he'll be, he'll be, Caesar. What's the Caesar? A salad? He'll be tired. Oh yeah, right. That's all oh, Caesar of in Vegas. A, that's a dressing. Oh, that's a that's a casino. <laughs> yeah, that's, I seen. Yeah, I seen. Yeah, they was fighting up there. That's they had a, a fight. Yes. <laughs> See, <laughs> they don't know. Don't ask him about it. They don't know shit. They don't know what the Dark Ages was. They don't, they don't know what classical Greek was. You know what I'm saying? They don't know when that took place. They don't know when Alexander the Great lived. They don't know nothing. They definitely don't know when it is. They don't know nothing about Jehoshaphat, King Jehoshaphat. They don't, Je, who the hell is that? Jehoshaphat who? Jehoshaphat. They don't know shit, man. It's like one of the greatest kings that ever lived. They don't know who King Solomon is. They don't know shit. People are dumb as hell. They don't even know the Ten Commandments. They don't, they, these little kids, you ain't, they can't tell you. Actually, even grown ass people, I bet they can only tell you five, if that, of the Ten Commandments. If that. I bet they don't even know the whole ten. Don't even, don't even go to the other commandments. Talking about eating pork, they surely don't know that. Or not to have heathens in your country. They, they, they definitely don't know that law. That's a law in the Bible. You're not supposed to have no goddamn heathens. Up in your country, up in your nation. So you go to Iran, I bet you ain't gonna see yes. Oh nation. hell no! Even if you, you, when you go to Japan, they hate the goddamn foreigners in Japan. Mm -hmm. They look up foreigners like you ain't shit. But y'all in America, you love to have goddamn heathens walk around. You got goddamn goops everywhere you go. You goddamn Muslims, stinking ass Somalians, stinking the place up. Especially, it's awful if you live in an apartment. If you open an apartment, you got some goddamn Hindus. Goddamn Somalians living with you in an apartment. They cooking the nastiest shit you ever smelled in your life. Mm. Now, we, I was living in apartments once, finding goddamn fish heads all over the fucking trash can. You got, they just stinking, it's just, it's just nasty. They don't shit trash all over the place. Nasty motherfuckers, man. It's all my fault. Baruch 3, Baruch 3 and 21. I'm sorry. Baruch 3 and 20, young men have, have seen light and dwell upon the earth, but the way of knowledge have they not known. Y'all got no knowledge. All these fools out here, they ain't got no knowledge, man. Can't tell that, them that's our job does come out here to give you all this knowledge, man. You can't know? tell them money because they're throwing away. Right, they stuff. can't handle it. They say we cuss too much. Yeah. Nor understood the past thereof, nor laid hold of it. Their children were far off from that way. Yeah, because y'all raise your children up to be fucking jackasses. Y'all y'all raising your children up don't teach them nothing. You rely on the school to teach your child how to read. When the state, the public schools is not designed to teach, the public schools are designed to make your kid more retarded, is to dumb them down. You know they're starting to go after parents and some homeschooling the kids. Right, they're right, they want to persecute homeschoolers. That's, man, because the school, they got that new, uh, what's that, Common Core? The Common Core where 2 plus 2 equals 14. I mean, you can, they really teaching the kid, they really teaching them to be retarded. I remember when I was in high school, one of the top athletes, you know, everybody knows that athletes are retarded. Look at Mary Dwight Boseman's wife, how to go yeah, because they don't want to be seen. She wants to go she, fuck some she, other dude. She's fucking somebody else, right? Well, right. she's looking to get some new dick tonight. Actually, he's encouraging because he wants to see it. his wife fuck somebody else. Yeah, he probably likes that shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how they do it. Hopefully a black guy, too. <laughs> They're her, probably trying to get some money out of it. That's fantasy. Yeah. She wants two, two of them, not just one. Two black dudes. One in her ass and one in her mouth. Bitch wants a bukkake. Hey, hey. 
know, that's for real. I didn't, that, that, man, that's been a practice with these motherfucking wicked motherfuckers for years now. It's just on a, it's like it's a common thing now. It's then a, they tape you know, them and put it on the internet. Yeah, yeah, upload that shit. Yeah, they be proud they of upload it. Upload so their friends can see it. Yeah, they pass, yeah, they let their family see it. See who's get the most views and shit. These motherfucking porn bitches, man, their parents be proud of them. They You're do successful, too. honey. They don't give it, as long as they got them some money, they don't give a fuck. Nasty ass bitch Sarah J. You know, what's that one bitch in, uh, these some nasty hoes, man. Sarah J. Pinky. Yeah, Pinky, Pinky that bitch. Pinky that is the ambassador bitch. of porn bitches, man. That bitch got AIDS. And she got AIDS, you know, and still making porn. Still, still making porn. Got, all, all she had to say was, I don't got, I don't got AIDS. Motherfuckers like, okay, baby. And they still fuck, yo. Yeah. That's why they get paid that bitch. That's Pinky's player, yo. Oh, and they said, too, they came out with a new study saying that HIV but lay dormant longer than they expected. Yep, yep. And they can't cure that shit. They know, you know what I mean? Yep. Well, actually, it probably is a cure for it, actually. Probably if you uh eating the right herbs and shit, I'm sure you probably could cure it. The most high is with you. If the yep. most high is with you, he'll cure you with anything. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. If your body's not in an acidic ass body, you can't, it, can't, it can't live in your body. Right, exactly. Yep. That's a good point, too. Yep. In your body out. In your body out. Yeah, but these motherfuckers, they ain't gonna listen to you. If they catch them, they're going to die. Yep. Well, these national certain vegetables you find in the wild, like in the rainforest and shit, man, that's, that's some potent shit. And they're still finding new drugs up in the rainforest, like in Brazil. They oh, begin yeah. to tap the surface, the surface of that shit they find in there, man. Oh, it was Esau can't survive in the rainforest. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Mosquitoes yeah. are yeah. fucking yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. I got a scripture for that. Ecclesiasticus 38 and 4. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth and mm -hmm. he that is wise will not abhor them that's right have yeah. faith in the most high and, and have trust in it and what he grows out of the earth man then he'll heal you he's gonna heal you you know some brothers got that spirit man they can school the shit out of you on these herbs man the lord put the spirit on certain brothers to know that oh, shit, yeah, even man. something as simple as that cayenne pepper mm -hmm. it's yeah, simple yeah, yeah. but even yeah. he, even motherfucking cannabis cure all kind of shit yeah you know what i'm saying they that's got crazy, they got man. cannabis tinctures that cure cancer Damn. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I got the video. I was watching that video. So that's a, that's just real. That's the real deal. But you got all oh, y'all saying to smoke weed. That's it. They say smoking, they can't take a tincture or something orally under the tongue. A dude actually killed, cured cancer, used uh, cannabis oil to, uh, on his skin. Yeah, he had skin cancer and he used cannabis oil to cure it. Man, the most I created all these plants for a reason, man. All kind of these plants got, uh, like I was studying a plant this morning. There's a plant called a morning glory, and it's a it's a hallucinogen, right? But it can, but you can eat the seeds can make you hallucinate. But if you have asthma, the plant's good for asthma because it does something to the nerves and it makes it so you can you don't have them attacks and it calms you down. Kind of like causes like a semi paralysis you know what I mean kind of paralyzes your lungs oh, I can't explain it. Right, right, but I was just right, I'm right. just saying that's just another plant that got medicinal yeah. purposes it's just too many out there man you know what I'm saying the most high grown it for a purpose he didn't he he didn't he didn't make most high didn't create a, 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 a CVS or a Walgreens oh shit like <laughs> you know even what I'm saying? he didn't say go to CV where's the scripture at uh, go to uh, CVS on the corner of 11th and 17. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm about to look for that and the Lord shall save you. I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that out of the book of the day. I'm like, look, look. <laughs> even too, like, uh, my mom gave me a to the lavender. You know the lavender? Mm -hmm. In the summertime, mm -hmm. when the mosquitoes is out real bad, you can take the lavender plant, rub some lavender on you, the mosquitoes ain't fucking with you. Wow. It's, right. a, it's a natural bug repellent. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Just coming out of the All these different... And it grows plentiful, too. Yep. Yep. A lot of there's a lot of bug repellent plants. Uh, lavender does. I forget the other ones. Yeah, fleas hate lavender too. Yeah, they, all them bugs. Fleas. They can't take them. Fleas. They hate lavender. It just smells good. Too. Mm -hmm. well, I got some lavender in the house. You take a whiff of that, boy, you pass out. It's strong as fuck. Yeah. Without a little bar of jar, like costs like twenty dollars. Oh yeah. Little jar of ten dollars. I can't remember. I bought it so long ago. I bought it just actually for fleas. Oh, I ain't got no dogs anyway. I got rid of the dogs. I don't know how to make a flea trap. Yeah, me too. Oh. <laughs> I don't even have fleas no more. Unless Samson's crazy ass fleas. I don't have fleas, but then cats will really get to the cats be the My cat never had Oh, no. It just one time, but he didn't have a fleas. I don't know what the fuck it is. Samson don't like doing that stuff. He'd like to be up under me. 
Samson be up, uh, he be listening to the scriptures and everything. <laughs> that's a crazy ass cat, man. I'm good. That's a crazy ass cat. Oh, that's the, that's the scratch cat. That comes from scratch. Yeah, yeah. Because our cat ran away. Yeah. That's, that's a crazy ass cat. So you the only one, you the only one that got a surviving memory. Yeah, yeah. That's that cat crazy. Yeah, he's man. the last of the bloodline. That cat gets, he has asthma too. Oh, fuck. Yeah, care gives him medicine and everything, man. Treats him just like it's her own child, man. Yeah, you would never see a black bitch do no shit like that, man. <laughs> the black bitch don't even take care of her own children, you know? Don't even take care of her own motherfucking kids, kids man. She'll send them motherfuckers straight off to East to get all kind of inoculations. Yeah, the shots. She, she never, <laughs> and, and never ever question them shots when they go to school. They gotta get all the uh, shots to go to school. Right, right. So all, them, all them, all them shots are designed to kill you, man, to make your baby brain dead. Mm -hmm. She grew up with all these shots. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. These yeah. bitches can't wait to, especially you know these kids. They go. Shots to go to school. And these women like, oh, come on, Dad, you gotta go get these shots. You can't go to school without them. Right. You can't go play football without these shots, you know. And they make it, physical. and they make it sure you go to school too. Mm -hmm. I hate you, motherfucking bitches, man. Because a bitch is the main one. Because you know, you know, if you're a man in America, you cannot sign a child up for school. Only the woman can do it. Cause I tried to sign my kids up for school, and they said I wasn't allowed to do it because I was a man. That's actually what they told me. They told me that the, the woman, the mom, had to do it because the father. What kind of goddamn sense does yes, that make? Limitation four. It's like, bitches, this is my goddamn four. kids. Here you go, um, limitation four and three. That's why we, all you children, all you people that work for the government, there ain't no more black woman to work for the uh, children's service. Mm -hmm. You go to the, 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 any, any government building, you go, you go to the courthouse, children's services, or uh, what they call it, uh, whatever the fuck that's the children's service. I had bitches that work for all three of them, children's service. I had a bitch that worked the for child support. Had bitches work for uh, the, uh, the the welfare. Welfare. You so know, it's all black people. All black bitches. All black bitches. Every any, any kind of government building you go to, and they the most evil, mm -hmm. most disrespectful, mm -hmm. fucking rude motherfucking yeah, people, right man. There, right there. As soon as you walk in the door, they have that front desk. Yep. And they just yep. running shit too. You ain't gonna tell. They they in charge of that motherfucker. You come in there speaking some wisdom. They shut the fuck up, man. Cause I had all them bitches. They not saying a motherfucking thing. Well, you got laid on. I went down, I went, I went in there with the spirit on me. I was pissed one day, man. Here you go, this limitation four and so, three. So every time I go to any kind of government building, they give you a hard way to go. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah, yeah, that's their yeah, job. Yeah, giving you run around. That's their job.